Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Agrarian Skies. I'm Jeremy with SPG, and this week, like every week, we are going to get some cool stuff done. Uh, first thing you may notice, I have expanded the house. Um, I took down the stained clay and sandstone blocks to expand it. It's now a lot bigger. Uh, another thing, I expanded the blood altar a little bit. Uh, made it a tier 2. It's significantly more useful now. Um, started growing some nether wart. Reshaped this. Got a little bit here changed. Not too much difference. Um, I set up an arcane work table and we're going to be playing with that in a little bit. Um, let's see what else. Oh, um, my farm is much bigger now. Um, we're still working on this. It's not quite done yet, but it's getting there. And that still be cool. I think a lot of these, I'm pretty happy to have finally gotten most of this done. Um, and so we can finally get to work on a lot of cool stuff. Um, so let's get started. First I'm going to toss uh, my autonomous activator, another one down on my uh, sieve so that I can start making more of this stuff. Oh, so nice. Whoops. <laughs> Forgot. There's two now. Alright, um, while I was off camera, I completed a couple of simple tasks. Uh, what did I do? I did these. I got the altar upgrades done, like I said, over there. I got a reward bag from that. Didn't haven't done this yet because, oh my gosh, this will be fun. This this will be cool. I'll, I'll enjoy this, but this is going to take a while. Um, and we did that last week. And I got the alchemist, alchem alchemic chemistry set done, which is part of the reward bag. Gives me another reward bag. Which, both of them were actually greater reward bags, and we're going to open them up now. Because I don't like, you know spoiling what I consider one of the coolest parts of this entire mod to be off camera. So, first one, books. Unbreaking 3 and Efficiency 3, that's awesome. And, wow, this is useful. 16 pneumatic servos. We are definitely going to put all of these to use. Uh, well, actually, we might not put these to use. Uh, just because, where can we put these? Oh, we'll just put it, we'll just throw it here, whatever. Um, we might not use these because we're using the Tinker's Construct tools. So today, I've got a couple of plans. Let's grab some food first. Let's see, what do we have? Oh, we still have some spaghetti from last time. So we'll eat some of this. Da, 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 da. Perfect. All right, um... Wow, that does not have a whole lot left on it, huh? Nope. Okay, cool. Um, so, plans for today are... Well, let's use these full hearts that came with some of the quests I did. I actually didn't die this week. I'm pretty proud of myself. But our plans are we're going to get started on Go With The Flow. So we're going to get fluid storage started, go for another two reward bags, oh boy, and then I don't even know what any of this stuff is. Looks like buckets of all sorts of stuff that I haven't played with yet. So let's get started on those. And to do that, we need to make a tank, a tank, and a tank. They're all different kinds of tanks, and let's see if I can remember how to make each one. Uh, glass and copper. Yep, that's one. That one, followed by tank, and this last one is, well, it would be my favorite tank, but we can't use the one thing I really want to use it for. So now that we have all these tanks, see, tanks, tanks, and tanks, um, we can't really use the one I want to use it for because I want to put experience in a tank because I'm getting quite a lot of it. 44 levels. It's too much. Basic and greater. Oh, let's grab this too. Level up our life again. Let's use the basic one first. Chicken jerky. That's uh, food, I guess. 
And, ooh, these are useful. Conveyor belts. Thought I'm going to put to use soon. Um, I saw some layouts of some monster, um, like, effectively monster grinders. Uh, you just, you know, build a place where monsters spawn, then have them fall down onto conveyor belts to push them into spikes and witch water and all the things that'll make them better monsters, and then win. So that should be fun later on. Um, let's see. What else? Oh, excuse me. What else are we going to make today? Uh, first, ME fluid stuff that we're not going to deal with right now. Uh, learning to skyblock. Did we make the auto brewer yet? No. We need to make the auto brewer. Alright, um, let's get that done real quick. Um, I did make another brewing station, but I don't really like the auto brewer compared to the brewing station right now. Um, just because the brewing stand gives three potions for each one material, and the auto brewer does not. I don't know why. So we're going to toss that there. We need to make this and that. We need, uh, what is it, this, right? Gold surrounded by iron. Yep, machine case or machine frame. And then we throw all of that together to make plastic, brewing stand, fluid duct, uh, machine frame, this, and what was the last thing? Bollocks. I don't remember. Alright, well I guess we'll look it up. Redstone repeaters. Whoops. Okay, um, I knew there was a reason I had stone in my bags. Uh, I need wood. Wait, do I need wood? I have wood. Okay, cool. Alright, we'll take the wood, put the redstone on it. Um, I have so much redstone finally because I was finally able to get around to... Um, what is it? Sieving a lot of dust. I basically just set the... Uh, autonomous activators after they had finished one of their cycles on the stone over there. I set one to place gravel and then the other one to break it and I did the same thing with sand that, which made it pretty simple. Alright, so these go there, these go there, these go there, this goes here, there, and the last one. Auto Brewer. Sweet. And this requires power, I believe. It does. And I did watch, so I do know how to work this thing, and it is really neat. I just don't like that it doesn't do three at a time, like this does. See, we've got the potions of regeneration. I'm going to turn them into slightly better ones. Um, I decided on redstone. In I decided between redstone and glistering melons. I decided on redstone because it gave a longer regen buff. And we're using the regen for the blood magic, so we want to be able to use it for as long as possible. I'm not sure if regen 2 is stronger than this, but I like the 2 minute buff. And now I have 3 potions of regeneration for 2 minutes. Previously there were 45 seconds. So, alright, what else are we doing? Um, oh right, we can go and pick some Thalmcraft stuff. Um, I discovered so much in Thalmcraft. Um, just like all sorts of stuff in here. Uh, I mean, this is where we start. Discovered some of this stuff. I wanna, I wanna build this soon, but I know that all it does is break down stuff into more elements, so we can deal with that later. Um, and then Thaumaturgy. I unlocked the wand foci, and I have to get the pieces for all these, which is mostly just the magic I have to acquire, and I just have to put it all together. Um, I'm pretty happy I just figured out what that is. That was the uh, instrumentum. The one in the middle was actually a question mark until recently. Apparently I had already figured I had figured out what it was uh, just now. Um, we're going to be dealing with the crucible really quickly. Uh, well, probably... Actually, we should make... We can make that today. Yeah, let's make that today, too. Um, let's grab... Do I have my iron on me? I do. Okay. So, in order to make a crucible, I'm pretty sure it's just a U of iron. Yup. Cauldron. Grab my other wand. 
Where is it? Oh, right. It's in the magic chest. Um, oh, yeah. I definitely put a magic chest over on the side and managed to lose all my stuff for, like, 15 minutes where I was like, oh my god, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Because I couldn't remember that I had put it there. So we'll turn this into that. I believe this needs to be over a heat source, actually. So there's that. Um, hmm. I don't want to put it over there yet. Uh, how do I want to do this? Oh, well, we'll figure this out later. We have other plans. Like, yep, I'm actually going to use one of my shards. I'm actually going to use a fire one just because, well, it's better. Well, I had more of them, rather. Um, I found out how to make, what is it? Uh, Thalmeter? No, artifice? Yes. In artifice, I found out how to make arcane stone. And then arcane stone blocks, which we'll use to make pa paving stones of travel. And this is why we're not using the earth shard, because we've only got one of that and one of that. And we've had those for a while, so we'll toss these in here. Thankfully, we have the required essentia, is what they call it. And we have a lot of that. So we'll put these here. Now I don't have enough shards to do it to do more, but we can put this one, and this one. Oh, that's going to go the other way. It does. And now we have the paving stone of travel. Now these, what these can do is, um, well, they make it so that I can run faster over certain areas. So we're going to put some down here. Oh well. Ooh, buddy. That was fast. I wonder how long that lasts. Three... Three seconds. That's cool. And... Whoops. Okay. We'll get a jump first, too. Two, three. Okay. We'll put it down... Let's put it down here. And then we put one more down in here to make it easier to get around our garden. And we're definitely going to be using these a lot. Oh yeah, this is awesome. Do I have to actually touch the block, I wonder? Yes, if you jump over it, it does not work. So let's place the last one here. Oh boy, I keep losing all this wood. Turns out wood's just annoying to get. And now we can deal with all of that later. Hmm, did that give me a second buff? I don't think it did. Okay, it does. Okay, whatever. Uh, we have a nice little play thing now. Why are you not powering me anymore? Oh, you are. Okay, good. Alright, cool. Um, what else are we going to build today? Um, oh, we have to claim our reward. Uh, this one. More potions. Sweet. Oh, more regen potions. Those are useful. Let's, uh, let's... Let's make a new, or let's grab a chest out of here and we can start putting potions in it. Alright. Um, click, click, go. Potion, potion, all the potions. Grab the reward bag. Toss this in here for a minute. And, oh boy. I did not want to have to make more of these. Because it requires diamonds, and diamonds are in possible to get. Well, they're still really low drop rate. I only got two. How much has this done? A lot. Wow. Okay. I have two more autonomous activators now, though. So we can definitely set up some cool stuff later. Oh, boy. 
I'm going to have to make a lot of these anyways, but right now I'm just happy that this is, well, this is, this just happened. That made my life so much easier. All right. Um, with that, let's go and work on, hmm, what is this? Angry doll. I forget, how do we make this? Decided not to go back in another. We'll need a different way to obtain blaze rods. Okay, um, that gets you blaze rod. Anyways, placing an angry doll in a stone barrel of lava will summon a blaze. While placing a blaze, like a creepy doll in a barrel, witch water summons an enderman. Okay, so how do we make the blaze doll? Angry doll. Hmm. Precious doll, which is porcelain clay. I'm going to use an emerald. Uh, blaze powder. We can make that real quick. Okay, um... Let's see. We need... Do I have any clay on me? I have one porcelain clay. Bollocks. Alright, um... Well, let's just... Oops. Turn this into dust real fast. water bucket. I'm definitely running out of food energy already. That'll definitely be the last thing we do today though. So, I'll grab that. Okay. Sure. Throw it in there. Dust. No! Son of a... Okay. I forgot about that part. Okay, let's take a bucket, throw it over there, then put the water in. Not turning into it. Sweet. Here we go. Alright, clay. Give me that. Mean game. Oh boy. Might have to grab some food out of the... Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Let's grab another spaghetti. I went fishing a little bit. Um, the food chest is disorganized and that bothers me. Okay, um, now we take the clay. And we grab the clay from here. We'll grab some of our bone meal. Said I also need what, blaze powder and a redstone and glowstone dust. So we have those over here. And the redstone's already in the bags. Okay. So the clay turns into porcelain clay. And then it was this, 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 this. Oh, need the emeralds. Oh boy. It's kind of a force of habit to just rearrange everything. So precious doll. And then it was... Oh, do I have another ward on me? Nope, gotta grab that. Okay. We take another ward. Okay, cool. Alright, grab that, put it there, those there, those go there, and these go everywhere else. And we have our angry doll. Never again. Um, this one. I don't have room in my inventory. Okay. Well, we can put this stuff back now anyways. So, we'll toss this back in here. Uh, I don't think we need any more redstone today. So we'll take that back. Oh, and that should be enough room for our selected reward. It was. Oh boy, got another blaze rod. That's it. Those are really hard to get. Definitely went into the Nether again. The place is scary. Um, I went in there with, you know, this armor almost gone now. Got it from zombies a while back. And, yeah, okay, so our reward bag is greater again. So, let's see. Let's put some stuff away just in case it's a really big reward. Um, put the tanks in here for now. And those. And we can toss... Oh, let's put our metals away too. Da, da, da. Um, doing this made getting all these so much faster. 
Oh my gosh. We'll toss our mushroom in here, and what do we get? A hungry chest. I was going to make one of those soon. This one eats things, right? It does. Okay. So I guess that's useful. Um... Man, we can mess around with that later. Technically, we could put it on top of here. But that doesn't really accomplish much, because this is way bigger than one chest. Alright, so... Let's see. Last but not least, let's work on... Let's make a Happy Meal, honestly. I think it'll be fun. We'll go into the end quest, and we're definitely gonna congratulation, get our congratulations for doing so well in the Hell's Kitchen quest line. Go to the end quest, and we're gonna go and try and open up a franchise of the popular McDougal restaurant, and we're gonna make a delighted meal. Okay, so to make the delighted meal, we need um, fries, cheeseburger, and some kind of smoothie. So we have all those things, right? Do I have ice here? No, gotta go get that. Okay. Ice. Mm, snowballs, right? I think it's snowballs. Shapeless crafting, yep, smoothies. Okay, cool. Let's see. I oh, apologize for that. Uh, alrighty. And, okay, delighted meal. So, fries. How do we make fries? Potato, salt, bakeware. Cool. We can do those. Deluxe cheeseburger is a cheeseburger, which is a hamburger. Raw beef, toast. Do I have toast? I have toast. Raw beef goes on a skillet, right? Yep, skillet with cheese. Yep. Do I have a cheese? How do I make cheese again? I know that it's... this can be used to make it. Cheese, salt, need lots of salt. Do I have salt? No. <sighs> Whatever. Okay, have lots of salt now. So, salt, and kind of wish that this would access this. Potato plus bakeware is fries. Okay, we got the fries. Now we want, well, what kind of smoothie do we want? Let's make a melon smoothie. Uh-huh. Got the melon with the snowball. Melon smoothie. Okay and the deluxe cheeseburger. I have all those pieces, so I need to get... Where are my tomatoes? Oh, I used them all last episode for the pasta, for this pasta, yep. So let's go fast. Boom! That was short. Oh, I ran out of run energy. <laughs> let's just grab a little bit of run energy, huh? Okay, let's go home. Boom. So fast. Aw. I don't like that, that sometimes that last one doesn't work. Whatever. Okay, we have tomatoes. Obviously we have lettuce, one of the first things we ever got. Um, so we got our toast, the raw beef. Uh, do we have the things to make cheese? We have milk. Well, soy milk. Close enough. Um, so to make cheese we need salt, milk, and what is it, the mixing bowl? No. Obviously it's not the mixing bowl. Saucepan. Nope. What do we use? The pot. Okay. Make cheese. Alright, now we have toast, raw beef, skillet, hamburger. Hamburger with cheese. Cheeseburger, add lettuce and tomato. Deluxe cheeseburger. Add fries. With a drink. Would you like your delighted meal to go, sir?
I would, because I'm going to go really fast after eating this. Well, probably not really fast, but I'll be able to run again. Whoa. That was, what, six and a half? Yeah, six and a half at least. I'm definitely going to be able to go for a long time. And that was that, guys. That should be fun. Um, need to make more of those. Okay. Alright, so. I thought that would be like 100% with one. I didn't read that it, you needed 64. So I'll be making a bunch of those off camera as well. Um, told you guys before, creative mode's not really my thing. Um, so I'm definitely actually going to make them. Just like you saw me do it today, but with a little bit more automation with the uh, new autonomous activators and the ones I'm going to be making soon since we have what? Oh, in this episode, we've already gotten three diamonds. That's useful. Um, so yeah, that's that, guys. Um, I'm Jeremy with SPG. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next week. Uh, I really hope that you're enjoying my episodes as much as I'm enjoying doing them. So, next week we're going to try and work on some more magic. And, let's see, what else do we maybe want to work on? Obviously, you know, comments will get me to do other stuff. Um, I actually want to get into this because it seems really cool. I did this because, well, there was 100 ice. I have some in, I made it over there. Um, and this, this will be fun. Need, okay. Alright, making some of this will be cool. So we'll deal with that next time. Maybe. Depending on, you know, what you guys want to see. So, one more time, I'm Jeremy with SPG. And thanks for watching. Bye! Not really, I don't want to fight right now.